Benchmark 0 4 for geometry asks us to uh, write equations of different lines in the form y equals mx plus b, give it different information. The slope is m, the y intercept is b, it's where the line crosses the y axis. If we look at the first problem, the line goes down to the right, so right away I know that my slope is going to be negative. I might want to draw in a little slope triangle here going from one point to the next. I notice that it goes down two units, so my delta y, my change in height, is negative two, and my delta x, my change left to right, is four units. So I rise over my run, my delta y over my delta x, all this is slope, it's negative two over four, which I'm going to reduce to negative one half. So, so far I know y equals negative one-half x, because that's my slope, plus b, but b is my y-intercept. And if I look at the graph, I can just look at it and just count it up, one, two, three units up. So my final equation is y equals negative one-half x plus three. I'll erase this stuff for the next problem. Next problem gives me a slope and a point that the line passes through. So starting with y equals mx plus b, what do I know? I know my slope is negative two-fifths, so I'll plug it in. I do not know my b yet, but I know it passes through negative ten, negative four. So if I remind myself that that ordered pair is x comma y, I can plug in those that point for y and x. So I plug in negative four for y and negative 10 for the x, and that's going to help me find the b value, the y-intercept. When I simplify this, you might want to put the negative 10 over 1, multiply it out, I get 20 over 5. 20 over 5 is 4, or you can reduce these ahead of time. Either way, you get 4. Copy in the rest, and then I bring the 4 to the other side, so subtract 4 from both sides, or just flip and switch, and I'll get b equals negative 8. So if I take this and plug it in for my b from up above, I get y equals negative two-fifths x minus eight or plus negative eight. Okay, I'll erase the, this part since I crossed over the line here. I'll skip to number four. Uh, this point, this gives me two points that the line passes through. It does not give me a slope, it does not give me a y-intercept, so I need to figure those out. Uh, I could just use the graph and, and count it out that way, but we're not going to let you do that. So we're going to use this little formula, this delta y over the delta x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is basically the rise over the run. You know, subtract the y's. Put those on top and subtract the x's and put that on the bottom and reduce it. Okay. Again, I need to delete this. I don't have much space here. So if I'm going, to, I'm going to go right to left. It doesn't matter if you go right to left or left to right. you got to go in the same direction that you choose for top and bottom. So negative 6 minus 3 over negative 5 minus negative 2. Careful with the negative signs there. Again, there's always going to be a subtraction in the middle. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. Maybe go plus negative to see that. And if I go plus plus here, I get negative 3 on the bottom. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3, and that's my slope. So I can write y equals 3x plus b. Now I'm back at the same point I was in number 2, where I can plug in my ordered pair and for x and y and solve for b. You can pick either point now. Um, I will use, I'm going to change color here and use negative 2 is my x and 3 is my y. So I'm going to write 3 equals 3 times negative 2 plus b. Simplify this. If I add 6 to both sides, I'll get b equals 9. Take that together here. y equals 3x plus the 9 I just found. Okay. And for the last two problems here, my slope is 0. And anytime our slope is 0, you guys have to think hoy. It reminds us that when the slope is zero, that's what the zero is in the middle here, the, slope, the line is horizontal, and the equation of the line is y equals a number. 
Well, what's the number? We'll look over at the ordered pair. There's x and there's y. y is negative 7. So we'll just write y equals negative 7. There's no x in the problem. You could write y equals 0x plus negative 7, but I think if we use the hoy in the box, I think that makes it easier. B, undefined slope. Well, undefined is vox. It reminds you of this little phrase, which reminds us, oh, it's a vertical line. It's got an undefined slope. And the equation of the line is x equals a number. What's the number? We'll look at the ordered pair, x comma y. It's always alphabetical. We have x equals negative 3. Circular answer.